In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of setting up your JTEC Digital H.264 encoder. So the first thing we're going to do is set up the encoder box. You can do this by connecting the encoder to the power source with a power cable, and then connecting the encoder to your laptop or computer with an Ethernet cable. Next, we're going to set up the IP address. So the encoder uses a static IP address and the address is 192.168.1.168 by default. In order to access it, we need to make sure that the computer's IP address has the same class C type 192.168.1.xx in order to match the address of the encoder. To change the IP address of the computer, we're going to press Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the CMD command and type in control net connections into the box. We're gonna hit okay, and then this window will pop up. We're gonna double click on ethernet, and then we're gonna go ahead and select internet protocol version four and click on properties. We're gonna select the use the following IP address option and manually type in the address. So I will type in 192.168.1. And the last number can be any number from 1 to 254. So I'm just going to pick a random number like 115. And then we're also going to type in the subnet mask. It's going to be 255.255.255.0. And then we'll hit OK. So now that we've changed the IP address, we can go ahead and open the encoder user interface with your web browser. So let's go ahead and open Google Chrome and we're gonna type in 192.168.1.168 into the address bar. It's gonna ask for a login, so we're gonna use admin, A-D-M-I-N, as both your username and your password. So now we're in, this is the encoder web user interface where you can change the settings of the encoder we're going to click on the encoder tab and here you can see some of the settings that you can change like the frame rate, the bit rate, etc. And then next we're going to go to systems and click on network. Here you can change the IP and the DNS settings of your encoder to match your network. You can do that by assigning an IP address with the same first three numbers as your network's original IP address, followed by a number between 1 and 254. I don't need to do this because my original IP address already matches the encoder, so I'm going to skip this step. But once you're done changing it, you can click on apply and then restart the device. After that, we're going to disconnect the ethernet cable from your computer and connect the ethernet cable to your home or office network. So now that we're done with the configuration process, you can go ahead and open up a new browser page and type in the new IP address that you assigned to the encoder and it should take you to the encoder web interface.